Now let's see uh see what we can get into here. Why don't you open hey. your eyes? Yeah. Open your damn eyes. <coughs> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. <laughs> we were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. <laughs> when we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. <laughs> You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait go do some hot. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something neat out there. Assorted salted awful. Starving <laughs> will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Yeah. Well, help. let's go try this. Use it, you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on, this way. Corresponding increased. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, Tell the snow's building up a little on their jackets. You find something to kill? It ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Oh, watch it. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. <laughs> me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Bow down. Some of this game, you could use it just really cool as just some like ambient background music. <laughs> Even just their little loading screen sections. See some of the ground uncovered here. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Staying quiet. 
Hey, stop here a second. I see something. Uh, careful. Uh oh. Has deer been here? And recently. How can you tell? How can you not? We'll track them on foot. Keep down. Move quietly and slowly. You see the tracks? I think so. Maybe not. Focus. You get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and wood. Cool. Alright, the little creature went this way. There he is. Shh. Down there. You see him? Get that bow out, Arthur. Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. Good shot. Now let's try for another. Couple out there. Let's try to speed this up a little bit. Okay, it picks the arrow back up automatically. That's cool. Sure, your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay. Go grab the other one. <laughs> Come on, boy. Okay, maybe let's get up. Be a little closer, give him a little bit of a head start. There he is. Come here, boy. Not bad, boy. It's a good boy. If I can get around this rock. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. 
<laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. I'm doubting it. <laughs> Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get look, our off, tracks when we came that, through are still here. Price on our heads. That's, That's awesome. Country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Yeah, Dutch and Jose's gonna get us all killed. Notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding the old Driscoll a damn <laughs> thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> Old Driscoll's course, ain't eating in this camp. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with your Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with your Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Yeah, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been. Look over how all this your way. your bow and the rifle, uh, everything's stored on the horse. That's awesome. Well, they, that you see that. We've been scrapping over scores of them for years. Sons of bitches. Watch out. Oh, Bear hell. Up. Let's see if we can find another way around. He must be real hungry. Stay well, Bear. He's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. Okay. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. That is a big bear. Horses don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> Cut up here, off the trail. All right, boy. L3 to calm it. It's okay, boy. We ain't ever talked that much, you me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that Oops. most nights. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. Look, the snow's the picking up. It's sure, getting on us I and the horse more. Another gang, but Dutch. You know... Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. That saved me. Saved most of us. 
That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. Hmm. Old Dutch. How's that new horse? He's all right. Now, I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and <laughs> Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Time over here. Brought some food back, boys. <laughs> Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Oh, and, uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Sitting around in here on their asses. Just drop it down in here. What a surprise to find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Ah, he loves me really. It's his sad way of showing affection. <laughs> no, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. We'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Go get to skin you. <coughs> Look at old boy's hair You're here. one with the jokes, aren't you? <laughs> Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. Look at their breath. Interesting. <laughs> Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> You've unlocked the Master Hunter Challenge. Check your log for more information. It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and <laughs> dreams. Who the hell is Leviticus Cornwall? Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. What? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. What's <laughs> left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. Bide your time. 
You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. We got a big Why old Clydesdale or something. Weather's breaking. We could That's leave. Cool. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice? What else we gonna do? Yeah, we got. Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Yeah, he's a big railway magnet. Sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. This don't feel really good, but... <laughs> Shouldn't be doing this, Dutch. <laughs> okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep a lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's hmm. private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear? We clear. What they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. <laughs> we're trotting along. <laughs> Even the, the breath coming off the horses. Out of the snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. <laughs> Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back. And that's the <laughs> end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good I don't know who to trust. Work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. Whoa, there's a the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Is Bill there? Yeah. <laughs> you wanna go Bill? Down, see how he's getting on? Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Go check on old drunk Bill. Yep. How you getting on? Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unscrew the wire and then attach it to said detonator. I got you, Bill. Chill out. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Come on, boy. Mistakes. What's going on? Be, sure Be ready. All fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any. Minute now. Mask on. Gentlemen, my mouth was still time. peeking through a little bit. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Here we go. Shit. Shit. No. What? God. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Where did you? More. You said it was fine. So my Come fault. on! You're pathetic. You know that? Uh. We're about to make a jump for it. <laughs> Here we go! Here we go! Come on, Lenny. I've got you. Now stop yelling. Alpha, help me. <laughs> yeah, you're okay. Now, let's go slow this thing down. Where's Javier? He fell. The others are down. Let's go. Come on, we need to stop this train. There's another guard up ahead. You want me to take him? Shit! I'm still trying to sneak up on him. Oh, shit. Ah! Back 
you asshole. How are you doing there? I'm okay. If we don't stop this train soon, the other boys will never catch us. I know, just stay calm. Oh, shit! Throw him over the edge. There we go. I'm going up. We have to stop this train. Ah, there we go. How many of them in this thing? Shot me in the ass. We're looting some dead bodies. You two all right? Yes. Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me. We will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, don't matter to Y'all could have done this the easy but way. You boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now light the fuse. <laughs> right off the boot. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. All right, come on. Let's walk on out here. We don't want to kill you. My oh we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> Look. 
Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, Mr. Corn. Kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. We are yet to receive payment of 2000 for the initial phase of the exploration of the Wapiti okay. Indian Reservation in Barino. As agreed to contract from Cornwall and Tar Atlanta. Uh, see, the funds we received in phases two and three. Getting there. Hmm. Keep that. There. See? That's how it's done. Got us a cigar. Shit. Just a pile of papers. Bonds? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Jam Give me Jameson those. Mining and Coal Company. Alright, we'll take Railroad that. Railroad contracts, invoices, blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies? A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. No, this looks like something. Have you checked all the drawers and cabinets? Bond. I think I got him. Nice. Thank God. Come on. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Inspect card. Just waiting on you, Arthur. Hmm. Are you done in there? What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? Well, what do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get I back, want to say we'll be moving on. The rest of on you, the PlayStation, I let these guys live, and it came back to bite me in the ass. Okay, get on the train, quick, hold it. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. If I hear so much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up. But I'm not sure either about, like, the, I don't know when the honor kicks in or any of that. <laughs> Talk about honor, then I'm, like, looting a dead body. <laughs> Start this up. Just can't remember what I did with those three for the in the original PlayStation playthrough. Thinking I might have should have killed them. 
So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old... All right, guys. Well, I think we'll go ahead and wrap up episode three here. And uh, episode four, we kind of, uh, yeah, we move on down into the valley. And we finally get out of the snow in the mountains here. So um, our adventure has not even remotely started to begin yet. So anyways, thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me here for a little bit. And uh, I'll leave you here with the cinematics. And then we'll, uh, we'll jump in episode four. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys. I'll see you next time. up ahead make sure there's no surprises we've had enough of those me with the boy just go come on kid you can buy me a whiskey <laughs>